Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. If you want to find out about growth and income stocks, then you have come to the right place. We have Alex Kolb here, who's our growth and income stock analyst at Zacks.com, and he has a couple of stocks that he wants to call to your attention. First one being United Online Incorporated, UNTD, the ticker symbol. And you know my question, where's the growth, where's the income? I will tell you. Um, I, was, I will start with income. Um, as you can see here, I highlighted it has a yield of 6%. That's really great. Um, let me, and I'll get back to the, to the dividend a little bit later. I do want to quickly just give you a quick summary of the company. It's right. an Internet company. Um, runs uh, social networking sites like classmates.com. Oh, really? Yep. Also is in charge of uh, floral websites, one of them being the popular FTD.com. No kidding. Did they buy FTD? Yeah. They're, they, they now own FTD. There's another floral uh, website they run. I don't know the exact name, but they do a couple of floral ones, more than one social one. Classmates is one of them. I'm just kind of highlighting the popular ones. Yep, yep. They're also in charge of running communication websites such as um, Juno and um, Net Zero okay. is another one. All right. So uh, good internet play here. Um, let me just go into the third quarter results. If I, if I can, actually, I'm sorry, it's the first quarter. Um, had great earnings, uh, 35 cents per share, uh, topped the consensus estimate by 46%. Um, revenue, as you can see here, was up 116% on a year-over-year basis. That's great. Mm-hmm. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, the yield is 6%. They recently declared a dividend of 10 cents per share. That's a quarterly dividend, um, 40 cents, obviously, for the year, which translates into an industry uh, beating, industry-beating yield of 6%, which is great. Um, these results, uh, these, these strong earnings and, and sales, were fueled a lot by the classmates.com and, and the communications segments of the company. All right. So uh, those two segments are doing really well, despite what's going on in the economy. And then I just want to show how that translates into momentum, into the technicals here. Um, o- over the year, the company hasn't necessarily done all that well against the, the S&P 500, against the market. But if you look at the last three months here, which is what I uh, compared to the S&P 500, it's done really well. And most recently, as you can tell, surging um, on, their, on, on their quarterly results. Not so bad. Kind of Terrific play all around. And they're based in California, so they're not that far away from that cutting-edge technology center that there exists is, yeah. out there. They're right there in the middle of it, yeah, participating. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next one is J&J Snack Foods Corporation, JJSF, the ticker symbol on the NASDAQ, I believe. Let me guess. That is correct, this. yes, JJSF on the NASDAQ. Okay, correct. Yeah. and let me guess they're in the snack food business. They are, yeah. See, I know it. I'm getting um, the hang of this thing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, some of the popular names are like Super Pretzels, that's a food item they produce, uh, Icy Beverages, they're also uh, Minute Maid, snacks, you know, and foods like that. Right. Um, food's doing really well. I, I, I've been uh, discussing various food companies lately, and it's just a segment right now that's doing really well, and this is no exception. I will say the market cap of this company is a little smaller, so perhaps, you know, if you're looking for a little bit of a riskier growth and in income play, this will be the one. It's not quite as, the market cap is not as large as some of the other food companies, but still a great play. And um, they reported their second quarter results recently, they had a 39 cents, which beat the estimate by 21. I'm sorry, 39 cents beat the year prior result, which was 21 cents per share. Beat the consensus estimates by 56 percent, and that translates into um, higher forecasts from analysts. Um, analysts have been upbeat, raising forecasts as you can see on this chart all across the board for the next uh, couple quarters and the full year. Right. And this company, growth and income, by the way, I may want to add here, it has a 1% yield, uh, an annual dividend of $0.39, cents, which translates into a 1% yield on the small side, but still beats its industry average. That's and all if, that matters. That is. It is with these companies. Um, if I can also show the chart on this one, over the year, as you can see, it's been outperforming the S&P, doing really well. It's in the positive territory, whereas S&P is still kind of a little negative um, over the year. And one final thing I might mention on this one, um, solid uh, fundamentals, such as uh, net profit margin of 5% versus the industry average of 3%. It has no debt on its balance sheet, which is great, and a return on equity of 11%, which is actually even with the industry right now. All right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. All right. Well, if you want to check out more growth and income stocks that Alex has written about lately, go to Zacks.com's homepage, and in the upper right-hand corner, you know what we always say. That's where all those X rank buys are kept by category. Click on the headline next to the growth and income listing, and it'll take you to the most recent stock that Alex has written about. And at the bottom of that page, you'll find an archive of some others. Maybe valuable information for your investing. With Alex Kolb, I'm Terry Ruffalo.